Hello everybody, it's Aaron the Custoda again, and um, last video we kind of went through and got our Xamarin Forms application with Master Detail up and running to the point where we got phone and tablet and we can see some screens. Um, I promised last time that we'd get into navigation, but we need to take a little side route in this video. And so this video, I'm going to talk about updating the NuGet packages for both Prism and Xamarin Forms. In Xamarin Forms, um, excuse me, in Prism, 6.2 is at the time of recording this video is the latest version. And 6.3, there's some breaking changes with navigation. And so because of future proofing and stuff like that, um, I make a decision for this training video that we should probably use 6.3, the pre-release, um, for that. And we ac I actually have a couple apps I've um, worked on in the past and um, also one app for a uh, client that I'm working on that is actually in production on 6.3 without issues. It's pretty stable. Um, Brian's stuff is pretty good from a good standpoint. Um, but we're going to need to take those NuGet updates. So the good news is that if you know how to update NuGet packages, this is going to be pretty quick. Once you see what I'm doing, you can just, you know, stop the video, go on to the next one. If you've never done a NuGet package uh, update any before in Xamarin Studio, then stick around and I'll walk you through this process. So we're going to look at the... Um, First of all, the core, our shared project here. Um, and so here's our solution. And we can see here's Everforms Master Detail Training. Um, I'll open the packages folder. And here, here's all of our NuGet packages. And you can see here already that Xamarin.Forms has got an update that um, is pretty much that we definitely want to take. So we can, updating something f to a stable release is pretty easy in Xamarin, uh, Xamarin uh, Studio. You can just right click in, on a package and say update. And it pretty much just goes through and updates it. You'll see up here in the center part where it says updating Xamarin Forms. It removes the NuGet package and adds it. So you'll get uh, the red squiggly lines of death for a short period of time. But eventually the red squiggly lines go away and the NuGet package gets updated. Now, a couple rules. If you update the NuGets for your shared library, you have to go to iOS and Android and update those packages also. And if you've created like maybe some libraries that you want to share some code between projects, you need to make sure that everything that you're using is on the same version. Do not um, run fragment versions where you're running maybe a shared library on an older version and something on a newer version. You're just asking for pain, tears, and despair. Don't do that. Instead, keep your NuGet packages up to date to the same versions on all your projects. So I'm just going to go into the Droid project, update that, and um, that will take a few seconds. Now, the good news is that the NuGet cache, uh, you probably already know this, but if you didn't, there's a packages folder. All your NuGet packages get cached there. So once you've downloaded it once from the internet, it will go to the cache folder, see that that package version is already in the cache. It will remove the current one, add it in, and you don't have to go through the whole internet um, downloading of it again. So it should go pretty fast after the first one if you have a slower internet connection. Um, let's go ahead and update this one also. And then we'll talk about um, how do you update to a um, beta release in Xamarin Studio. In um, Visual Studio, that's a lot easier. You can just go in and tell it you want to see pre-release software. Um, and it's not terribly different in Xamarin Studio, I guess. Um, the biggest thing that you'll um, see is that when you go into the packages folder, for let's pick the um, shared library to start with. Um, this seems kind of intuitive, but if you look here, there's no ability to, like if I right click on this package, there's no, you can click update, but it doesn't bring up a UI, it just tries to update it, but it's already at the latest version. So you're like, well, how would I update this to a pre-release then? And the answer is you add a package because you're going to add in the beta package. And I get that that's kind of intuitive. Instead, maybe the update window should bring up another window like Visual Studio does, but horse piece here let's go ahead and right click it on the packages folder to say add package so now what happens is we can see show pre-release and we check that um we can now query the um nuget store out on the internet at nuget.org for pre-release software so let's start with xamarin forms so i'm just going to go into the search box over here type in xamarin forms and we're actually going to get the pre-release for that. And so you see here, we have a pre-release that is um, 234.192 pre-2. And that was released um, as of this recording. That was like a week ago. Um, 
for this particular one, yep, we definitely want that because I'm going to do some sample videos in a future uh, module with doing some of the forms and carousel stuff that's uh, part of the new um, betas. So because of that, um, as you can see here, these like the maps one requires this. So I definitely want that so I can do some videos on it. Now, if you want to run stable, you can. You can just... Um, the difference, though, is that we definitely want to upgrade Prism also to the, the pre-release. So, you know... That's up to you. You don't have to update uh, Zero Informs. You could just update Prism to the pre-release. I've tested Prism um, without doing the Xamarin pre-release stuff, but I'm going to update Xamarin also. So I'll uh, Xamarin Forms specifically. So it's up to you. I'm going to do that though. So I'm going to say update package. And all that happens is the nougats uh, get removed here. We saw the squiggly line of death before and they get put back in. If we take a look here, now we're running on the new version. Um, the pre-release version. So that's, it turns out, rinse and repeat for all the Prism stuff, and you're you're pretty much good to go. So let's we'll start with Prism. Um, I usually like to do for, uh, Prism Forms, I want to say is what, and you can see here, we have all the different Prism libraries for Forms then. So we have Prism for Forms. We'll start with that, and that will replace both um, Core and Forms. It doesn't replace Unity. That's a separate NuGet package. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's adding in the Prism Forms. And if we right click and take a look at that, we'll see that that's at the pre release 6.3 pre 1. And that's at 6 for the release uh, 6 uh, 3 0 pre 1. But if we go back to look at Forms, it's at 6 2 still. So we have one more package to update. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do that. And we just do the same thing um, Prism Forms. And we'll go ahead and grab the Unity, um, our IOC container. Um, and that should update that also. And at that point in time, we'll have everything there. Now, I was talking earlier about um, it does use Unity here. If you wanted to, if you take a look at Add Packages, and we just do Prism Forms, you'll see that there's other Ninjact. Here's AutoFAC. Here's DryLock. I don't know if they have a tiny IOC. I've always done that by hand. But there's NuGet packages for um, if you wanted to replace Unity with a different IOC, you can see that there's um, options out there for that. And so that's pretty cool um, that, you know, if you didn't like Unity, you can actually fire up AutoFAC or Ninjact, for example. I'm not saying do that. I'm just saying that they're out there like I talked about. So um, that shouldn't be an issue. So I talked about it before. We updated this shared library. Now we need to go through and update the Android and the um, iOS packages. So I'm over here in Android land, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to update my Prism first. We'll go ahead and do that, get it up to date. And it should go pretty fast um, because of the fact that, obviously, it's already on my disk. And I do want to say that by default. Let's go ahead and take a look here at code while we're waiting for that. Um, We'll go into here. There should be a packages folder. And these are where all your packages live. So you can see here, they, it caches all these. So there isn't like, oh, for each project, I'm done with a separate version of that. No, it knows in the cache folder here um, to go grab these things off disk. So let's go ahead and we got that updated. So let's right click now and say that we want oops, um, packages. Let's uh, add package. We'll update the Unity package and then we'll update the forms package. So let's go ahead and add Unity. Now, if you take a look at the Droid stuff, the Droid stuff is extremely out of date. Um, 25.1, which would be 7.1, is available. And I want to say that out of the box, the template was for um, 23, um, which is Marshmallow, if I remember right. The uh, <clears throat> And how do I know that? I, I'll show you in a second here how to check that also. So um, right here is Xamarin Forms. Like I said, we do want to get the pre-release. We need to make sure that's in sync. Ooh. It's now updating. So while that's updating, let's take a look at the packages.config file. And that's where your NuGet packages are. And so if you want to see what versions your, your thing is saying that you should be running, that's this is the file you look at. You can easily see here that these things are at 23.3. So that's the version of Android that um, we're currently targeting in this project, which is old. Um, obviously, 25 is out. Now with 25, there are some other issues that you need to do. If you want to support that, you need to update... Um, your Java to 8, um, 1 8. There's also um, a bug in Xamarin's uh, implementation of the um, builder where I'm going to bring something in here. This is my downloads folder. So there's something called ProGuard. And there's a bug within that that you have to basically download a version of ProGuard, uh, version 5.3. 
Um, you can Google this right here, this 5.3. And once you have um, this downloaded, ProGuard 5.3.2, you copy that into your SDK folder to update the ProGuard because the one that Google ships is not updated, or it's either Google or Xamarin ships, is not updated for the work with Java 1.8. And Google has stopped using ProGuard. And so that's the reason why I think it's Xamarin that's uh, the holdup on this one. So if you update your Android packages to... Uh, 25.1 and it doesn't work, I will do a separate video for you to show you how to fix that. How does that sound? It sounds wonderful. Okay, so if we take a look here, our forms should be at the pre-release, our Unity um, should be at the pre-release, and our forms, libraries, pre-release, Droid is done. We'll update that uh, in a different video to get the packages up to 25. Um, let's go in here and do one more video. <clears throat> let's just do this here. We want forms, the latest release, that should come in. Remove the old one, add a new one. Good to go. And we'll do the same thing for both the Prism and Unity um, packages. And then the last thing to do once this is done, obviously, is to um, go ahead and compile. Make sure our stuff works. That's um, that's always a trick of the trade is once you start updating new packages, before you write a single drop of code, you should be going in and testing your stuff to make sure it still works. Um, Prism's not as bad as um, MVVM Cross. Oof, man. <clears throat> I've been through some pretty rough MVVM Cross upgrades um, throughout the last couple of years that have um, left me wasting the entire weekend going through and trying to patch things and get things working because of the update didn't go as well as I would hoping. And, of course, you should always do a separate branch um, and get, you know, do your update and um, validate before you check that stuff in. Um, I did a dry run and I thought I had all my notes on how to get it done. And I was figuring that, you know, there's quite a bit of things I had to do to get it working, but, um, I missed a couple of things in those notes. And when I actually did it for, for production, for real, you know, to get everything ready and going, there was definitely several defects that I didn't catch it right away that I had to actually do code fixes for, um, put it, there's one major problem with, um, bindings on cells that we literally had to write a code around for until the patch came out in 4.2.3 or 4.2.5, I want to say, maybe 4.3 that patches in. It's been, um, several months since that happened, so. But let's go ahead and just run our app we'll get it real quick to make sure everything works. That seems to be working pretty good. We don't have a button here yet to call to go into our master detail from phone. We knew that that's where we left everything last time. But I'm going to say that if we could boot up both a tablet um, and we could boot up on a phone, then I think our NuGet up package update is successful, and we will stop this video and move on to the next. Um, so let's go ahead and just make sure the iPad comes up real quick here, and we'll call it a day. And iPad's booting up now. So <clears throat> and after this video, the next video, we're going to actually go through and start talking about messages. But well, one, we'll get it so that the master on phone can talk to detail through navigation. We'll talk about how we do messages. We'll bring up the ability to bring up like a, uh, a menu page, like a hamburger menu page kind of thing. I mean, we can see here we're working. Um, tablet came up. Menus there, or excuse me, our master page view is here. And if we flip over, um, we should be locked in and our master page view always shows up and detail page page view always shows up so we're good to go um i i'm going to call our upgrade a success here and say that we we're able to easily update our nougat packages and get our uh tablet and phone releases up and running so i appreciate your time like i said in uh the next videos we're going to go through and start talking a little bit about um events and we'll talk about how do we get the phone version to be able to navigate the details and we'll probably add a couple more views and view models and start and start playing around with messaging when we bring up a new page um, also make sure that we can send a message to it that says oh bring up this particular items details for example uh appreciate you guys all watching and look forward to you guys seeing you guys in the next video so take care have a great one